Well, hey everybody, here we are on the back porch with our puppies. Yeah, I got the boys in this side over here. They want to come out, but I'm keeping them in there right now. And the girls are over here. Hi, 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 hi. But let me start with the boys. Uh, somebody noticed, and I did too this morning when I took the video, that uh, what I've got, I've got a light blue ribbon because I ran out of the dark blue. So this is light blue and white ribbon right there. And then we got dark blue and white ribbon right there. And of course we still have Mr. Blue Ribbon and uh, green and, and, and little Mr. Little Mr. Just Blue Ribbon. And then we got blue ribbon and purple back here. And uh, hey, leave that dog alone over there. Thank you. You better stop. And they are rambunctious. They are. Uh, I still believe Mr. Blue and Purple is the beastie of the litter. Yeah, he is. And uh, I think probably the other three are bringing up a close rear kind of thing. Uh, I would still say that Mr. Dark Blue and White is probably closer to him. And of course, Mr. Blue here, he's going to be the small puppy. Yeah, yeah, you're the small puppy. Yeah, you are. And somebody asked, uh, you know, him being a small puppy, is that likely to have an impact on his personality, you know, because he's, he's, uh, you know, seems like he's spending a little more time by himself kind of thing, which, you know, I think that's right. Uh, he probably is just on account of, you know, self-preservation kind of thing. I don't suspect that that's going to be any issue with him once he leaves his brothers and sisters and gets out on his own kind of thing. I think he's going to blossom just into your typical Airedale Terrier. Playful, friendly, dominant, very dominant dogs these dogs are. So, uh, yeah, so if you've got another dog or other dogs that are bigger than this, uh, obviously all of these puppies, you know, are going to be, uh, you know, a little bit standoffish at first when they encounter bigger dogs that they don't know. Uh, but if you put a little smaller dog with them, they will immediately start to try to dominate that little dog. Yeah, they will. And as soon as you grow up and you get to your, you know, 55, 65 pound full weight, well, those dogs that was dominating you when you was a puppy this size, they better watch out. They better watch out, because you're going to be some. He, uh, you see, nobody, uh, you know, he doesn't, uh, even at his size, he doesn't back up from anybody kind of thing. They're bigger than him, so it's easier for them to kind of maintain the top position right now. But that's not going to last for long. Not at all. Not at all. Hi. Hi, Miss Leah. You come over to say hi. Go on. Go on. I'm talking to the puppies. Over here, we got the girls. Yeah, hi, hi girls, how are you? Yeah, little Miss uh, Purple and Pink kind of thing. Miss Pink and Yellow or Light Green. Miss Pink and White Ribbon. And back there is Miss Pink and Blue Ribbon. Puppies just ate, so can you tell how plump they are? Boy, they swell up like cantaloupe when they eat like this. And they've already been over and used a potty. Uh, and yeah, so they're doing well, and there'll be some playing going on here for a little bit, and then it'll be nap time again. Yeah, yeah, it'll be your daddy, you see you. Yeah, yeah, it was a beastie pink and purple. Yeah, you, how about you? Yeah, yeah, blue and green, he's a beastie too. Yeah, I'm telling you, they are not far behind each other. Even the boy there, look at him, look how he's grown. And you can only see that he's small just in comparison, you know, but it's only a pound kind of thing. And there's no guarantee he's not going to hit a growth spurt and wind up just as big as any of these other dogs. So, yep. All right, well, I'm going to keep it short and uh, I'll be back uh, later to take some more video.